Assalamu alaikum and hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a super requested video and it is how I do my underscarf. Everybody is always asking me how I do my hair, how I do my undercap and all that kind of stuff. So I thought why not film it and show you how I do it and what works for me. And also I find that this is the most comfortablest way of doing your underscarf and also without it looking too big, too bulky, too weird, also too tight and too uncomfortable. This is just perfect. As you can see, I'm wearing it on underneath right now. I just wanted to mention these tube caps that I wear underneath which I love and I think they are so amazing. They are from, they are called Eve Jab so, and they are from Eve Lane like this and they are so so cool. These are actually made in Tunisia, they are an amazing fabric and they have really been designed for hijabis and they've been designed so well. They come in two different types so the first one I'm going to show you guys this color so you can see is it's just a tube cap it looks just like a regular tube cap but but um the great thing about this is actually on on the ears when it sits on the ears it's actually not very tight which is great and also it has these two slits on either sides where your ears are so and there's slits there and I have spoken about this in a few other videos before. I just really love these caps. So they have slits to either put your glasses on, your headphones, um, just, you know, stethoscope if you are a doctor or a nurse or anything. So anything that you need to get through to your ears, which is amazing. I love this idea. I think it's so great. I'm so glad someone has done it because it's just a really great invention. And also the fabric is a really great quality and like around the ears so that this bit doesn't rip or anything there's like it's a little bit thicker than the rest of the headband and also it's stretchy like this and then this comes in a few colors so it comes in this color it comes in black it comes in white so I've got the black one as well which I wear all the time and then you get this one which is exactly the same but it's slightly bigger and it comes with this like little pocket which when you put it on you literally just flip back like this and it holds your hair and you can't see your hair or anything this is great if you don't want to put your hair in a ponytail you can just have your hair loose which is really really good because as hijabis you guys all know we have our hair up in a ponytail or up in a bun, whatever, for so many hours and that can strain your hair and also can give you headaches and stuff like that. So this is great if you have really long hair and you can't hold it, like you don't want to have in a ponytail for so long and you just want it to be loose, it's great. At the same time, this is great if you have, I have a lot of like chiffon sheer scarves, so if you've got something sheer you don't want your hair showing and it's in a bun or in a ponytail this is great because it won't show also I use this when I'm on photo shoots and stuff so I can easily change my hijab and without like any hair being shown all that kind of stuff it's just really really great now I'm gonna show you how I do my underscarf so I've got the cap on then I got my hair in a ponytail and I love to use this Turkish scrunchies which you can find on eBay and other stores on Instagram I'm not too sure because I got this about four years ago now and I still use it that's how great it is um, yeah so I've had mine for about four years and um, the shop has now closed down but I believe Yaz the Spa sells these as well anyway they are amazing and I love them because they're the perfect size they're not too big so it's great and also they're like really really soft they don't hurt on your hair because they're like it's just an elastic band anyway so I just put that around my bun so I have it on and then I'm just gonna use the extra bit flip it over so you can't see any of my hair at the back like this and this is all I do to my underscarf and then also I do wear this little scarf underneath and I actually like to wear this when I'm doing a hijab style just because what it does is it evens out the volume making sure that there are no bumps anywhere and then I just tie it like this and bring it around tuck it in and this is what gives that really nice shape 
like so that it's not lumpy or bumpy and there's like no bits in between you can grab your scarf by the way guys this is one of the new scarves from the collection and we have changed the V so the V is now in the middle of the end of the scarf and also it's a lot smaller I just kind of wanted to change the design like that what I tend to do is just fold it like this place it on my head and as you can see there we go obviously I like to pin it and stuff but I'm just showing you guys how you can see how the volume looks it's really nice and neat but then when I do turbans what I tend to do is I don't actually wear the extra scarf because I don't like too much volume when I'm wearing turbans like this and then I just style my turban or like today, I am wearing my brother's and sister's turban, which I uh, I wear these turbans to death. I wear them every single day. Absolutely love these. The Evelyn brand is a French brand that has just recently been launched, and I'm actually the first international blogger to talk about them, and I am the first international blogger to actually try these too. So it adapts really well to your head. It's actually breathable, which is so important as a hijabi. Like it doesn't matter what climate you're in or anything, your scarf needs to breathe, like your hair needs to breathe. You just want that, especially in a hot country. It reduces the feeling of compression. It gives less heat and limits the production of bacteria that cause bad smells. It doesn't slip, which is a big must as well as a hijab because you don't... I wear a lot of chiffons. don't like my scarves to slip, so this like holds the actual scarf. You know, it doesn't slack and it doesn't pull either. So I'm just going to show you. I'm going to wear my glasses. Like that. You can do it like while it's... You don't have to pull your scarf back, but I'm just doing it because I'm showing you guys how nicely it just slots in like this. And you can do that with headphones, you can do that with anything that needs that you need to put around your ears or in your ears. So it's just really cool. I love it. And the best thing about this is because I wear glasses, so what happens is when I have a cap and I wear my glasses, it pushes here, which gives me ends up giving me a headache here, and then, you know, it's tight around my nose and everything, but this is just so nice and loose, you don't feel it, it just sits really nicely around your face, on your head, everything. I hope you guys found this video useful and helpful, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. I would love for you guys to subscribe as well, and I shall see you in my next video. Bye!